Hey, hey, hey everyone, my name is Nolan, and welcome back to another episode inside of the Terraria Calamity mod. I'm not wasting any time today, other than I will just say, it's not nighttime. For once, I'm actually starting an episode regular, in like regular daylight, which is absolutely crazy, and oh my, oh never mind, we're good, okay. Um, basically, really quickly, I have like the corruption spreading everywhere, and it's messing up all my biomes, so I was like trying to put wood in, and I was, looking at, this is a long story, it doesn't matter. So, we're going to start off this video by making the Palladium Armor, because I think that the Palladium Armor will be an upgrade to what we have because of its life regen set bonus. If you guys don't know, the uh, the life regen, uh, on, the Palladium Armor has a set bonus which basically just increases life regen by quite a bit. Maybe you have to be standing still, but even still, it's still definitely worth it to get. Do I have Souls of Light in here? Um, oh my gosh, can I make this? Oh, I want to make this shield so bad. Uh, yeah, just because it's, it's it's the Captain America shield. So, first up, though, we got to make the Palladium armor. Um, I don't even know how to spell this, but basically, yeah, we're just going to make the armor. And today, guys, uh, we are going to take down all of the mech bosses in this video. Basically, I can't really make any real progress until I take down all the mech bosses because you have to take down, I think, two mech bosses to get uh, to titanium. Then you have to take down three mech bosses to like make progression. So I just figured might as well take down all three. So yeah, we beat Queen Slime and Cryogen in the last uh, video. So yeah, um, we have the access to Cryonic Ore. However, I can't actually mine it until I get the um, yeah titanium pickaxe. So I can actually mine it. So I'm just gonna really quickly reforge this here. Um, Ruthless, hurtful, strong, demonic, superior, godly, legendary. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just take godly. I don't want to spend too much cash, cash here. So basically, there is one accessory that I forgot the name of that I just got in the last episode. Does it have cryo in it? Oh, uh, it's not the cryo stone. It is ice. I'm sure that I'll find it. Cold. Um, snow. <laughs> you know what? Let me just find this really quick. Okay, this the frost flare. Okay, frost. The one thing I, uh, the one cold thing I didn't look up. So basically, all may attack, all melee attacks inflict. Uh, I can't talk. And projectiles inflict frost burn. And then being above seventy five percent life increases melee damage by ten percent. And being below twenty five percent life grants twenty defense and fifteen percent increased max movement speed. So, I feel like that this would be good. It, it might be better than the Bloody Worm Tooth. However, I don't really know. But for now, we'll just use it. So, basically, let's test out this new stuff we have here. So, and honestly, I don't really know if I use Yo-Yo enough for me to care to uh, use them. What is the rare... Oh my gosh, Pinky! Die, Pinky. Let's go. Okay, so, first up, we're going to compare the armor here. So, right now, we're at 68 defense. Our weapon does 273 melee damage, and then the set bonus is kind of lame. It's actually pretty good, but whatever. So now we go up to 80 defense. Our melee goes up a lot by like 20-ish, and the set bonus greatly increases life regen after striking an enemy. So I think that I definitely want this set over uh, the other set. I mean, man, look at that. That's just so sick. But now I want to test out this uh, this melee weapon that I just crafted. We'll see if this is any good. Honestly, I mean, I don't even know. This probably would be really good in, like, vanilla Terraria, but since I have True Caustic Edge, I feel like the True Caustic Edge is just going to be better. However, does this do anything special? No? Dang, dude. I, I really wish it did because this thing is freaking sick. I, I wish I had an excuse to use it, but just to be honest, I really don't. So, yeah, um, if you guys didn't see the last episode, we took on... Uh, I think the twin, yeah, the twins, we did a spontaneous fight with no real prep time. In fact, I was still buying potions while I was fighting the boss. So we almost beat it, but we didn't quite get there. So I think that I definitely want to fight the twins first, just because of the fact that we almost beat it last time on the fly. So which potions do I need here? Um, I definitely want the triumph potion, but then there's like these combination things like this is really good and it has 30 minute duration we want this cadence potion here and then i think that the other potions i can just buy in the regular shop but so yeah basically all i have to do now is craft oh i'm out of lead okay that's fine i'll just craft a lead bar really quick 
where I'll craft a lot of lead bars. We'll make the mechanical spawns, and then that'll be pretty much the, like, all the prep I needed for the episode. Why can't I make the... Oh, it's a mechanical worm. I was looking for, like, the destroyer thing, but that's not it. Okay, cool. We got all our potions and stuff. I'm just going to skip to nighttime. Well, guys, I really don't know if this arena is going to be big enough, but I'm still just going to use it just for the heck of it. And uh, I guess let's just jump into this then. Should just be good to go. Holy cow. Why is he firing so much qu quicker than last time? Uh, maybe it was because he was just far away or something. I don't even know. But yeah, as you guys can see, uh, our damage is like really good. And I want to see here if I can actually get some adrenaline. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to be able to, especially if I just stay far enough away. If I, the farther away I am, then the easier it's going to be to dodge all these cursed flame things. Oh, we almost got hit there, but we're good. We're good. If I can get adrenaline, dude. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm probably not going to. But, oh, is he changed? Yeah, I don't know why the flames are purple. Uh, if that's, like, a thing now, I don't think it is. I think it's just Calamity mod. But I think maybe it's because Shadow Flame might be a bit worse than Cursed Flame. So they just wanted to make it harder. But, yeah, I did almost... Holy cow, 69 damage. Um, but, yeah, I think our life regen is going to be pretty good. I don't actually really know. I hope I don't have to be standing still. Oh my gosh, they both already transformed. Holy cow. Well, that's going to make things a little bit more different. I mean, difficult. I mean, actually, I guess that is different, but whatever. Um, yeah, still. I don't know how I was able to get so far last time. I feel like that this fight is actually kind of hard. Who knows? I don't actually... I really don't know. really don't know. However, I, yeah, I feel like that this is definitely the weapon to go with because, yeah, fighting, fighting this boss with a yo-yo man is not going to be good. I was thinking maybe a yo-yo for range, however, nah. Plus, uh, the only yo-yo I have right now that would be good is the Amarok, which uh, is still not as high of damage as this weapon is. So I'm actually kind of surprised I've been able to like talk over this fight and actually do pretty good, because you know, you know how it is. Like, oh my gosh, he shoots like flaming balls now, holy cow. Um, yeah, you know how it is. I, I wasn't even able to talk over the Cryogen fight. Just because He does one damage, dude. Why am I scared of ret Retinizer? Come on. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come on. Yeah, Retinizer literally does one damage to me. That's just kind of annoying because it just messes up your adrenaline. Um, even though it's really not that bad at all. Yep, Spasmatism's about to go down. That is the name, right? Spasmatism? I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure. I haven't, I haven't done the twins in so long. It's literally been months, and I literally only did them, like, once. Oh, we got him. Nice. So I guess now we just have to take down this fight. Oh, and it just got hard. Okay, yep. It just got a whole lot more difficult. Okay. It's fine, though. The lasers are actually doing damage now. However, I think we're just doing so good that the fight is pretty much over. I mean, there's really not... Yeah, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. A few more hits. We got him. Look at that. That was so easy. I was able to commentate over that whole fight. If you can give me a band-aid, I would greatly appreciate it because uh, I need a band-aid. Nope. Okay. So it's still nighttime, so I just figured might as well get the next boss fight out of the way. I think that next I'm going to do the destroyer. Um, could be a mistake. Uh, let's just buff up so I can refresh my breath. <laughs> I mean, buffs. What did I just say? Breath? I don't know. Holy knockback, dude! <laughs> uh, let's 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 do Skeletron Prime because Skeletron Prime, I know for a fact, is able to be. In oh my gosh, see these monsters all around here are gonna be the real pain here. Okay, hopefully, uh, Skeletron Prime is not that difficult. I've never haven't fought Skeletron Prime in Master Mode with uh, what is it? Revengeance? I don't even know. It is Revengeance Mode. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna, like... I maybe should have gotten a bigger arena. Yeah, this arena is literally what I used to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, I think. Maybe Slime God, I don't know. Some... one of those. Dang, I almost had adrenaline there, I think. Oh, yeah, also in the last video, I, uh... I got the slime... the Queen Slime hook thing, which is, like, really good because it teleports you to where you land. Like that. Um, and then I just trashed it. I just put it in my trash bin. Um... Which was a bruh moment. I didn't notice it when I was playing, but when I was watching the recording, I was like, are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Um, so yeah, that was that was literally just a bruh moment. Oh my gosh, we got adrenaline. Okay, I'm going to stay close here and try and get some good hits in. Um, but yeah, that was really funny. So basically, I just fought Queen Slime off camera again and got the got the hook back. Yeah, I think that it was definitely smart to do Skeletron Prime. We're, we're smashing this fight. 
And I know that it's probably going to get ridiculously hard once we take down all the hands. Just knowing uh, not only Master Mode, but re uh, Calamity Mod Revengeance Mode. It's just going to be like that. I mean, even now, it's getting impossible to tell which projectiles I have to avoid. And I've only taken down... No! We almost had Adrenaline, dude! Oh my gosh, it's even now getting hard. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, come on. Let's take down let's take down these hands. Let's actually try and focus on taking down these hands because uh yeah, last time before or like recently, I, I don't even know. I can't I can't talk. You guys know this. Okay. What I was trying to say was yeah, I was not paying attention to like which hand I was trying to take down. See, this fight feels like a like a true hard mode fight. I feel like that this is how vanilla Skeletron Prime should be. Like, these rockets are actually, like, intimidating. And the rocket hand is hard to hit because he just keeps his face in front of- Oh, we got him! Okay. Yep, here's where the fight's gonna get hard. I just know it. How it- Wow! Okay, we got cursed skulls for days. Holy- Whoa! Oh! 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 I wanna try to get adrenaline. Okay, he's gonna spawn in all these cursed skulls. And we got- Luckily, we didn't get stuck in the head thing. As long as I'm not getting by, hit by the actual head, I should be fine. Okay, I don't know how much damage that did. Probably only like 50, 60, just from the looks of it. Okay, let's try and avoid that. Oh wait, we, we dodged it, we dodged it, it's good. We dashed into it, but it was a dodge, so we're good. We might actually get adrenaline after all. Maybe. Whoa, what is he shooting? Oh, rocket barrage, rocket barrage. Ah, how did we just dodge all those lasers? Huh? Come on, get adrenaline. I don't even think we'll need it. I'd still like it though. Let's go. That's that, that's the fight over. That's the fight over. Look at that. Amazing. We just did two mech bosses in one night. Let's go. I'm only 15 minutes into this recording and we've taken down two mech bosses. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'm going to throw these uh throw these down uh just so I can flex really quick. We're almost out of room already. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm just going to start throwing these down in random order. And, um, yeah, I I'm just going to do a quick cut, and we'll just go right into the destroyer, honestly. Well, guys, it's now nighttime, so we're just going to jump into this fight and try to take down the destroyer. So buff up. There we go. We got all our buffs, and let's just summon this fight. And I, I don't know why. <gasps> Ooh. This fight, this dude is a lot bigger than I remember. Um, he's also probably a lot more aggressive than I remember, too. Um, okay. Gotta, gotta make sure to take down these, uh, probes. Honestly, a yo-yo might be good for this fight. But I literally just put my yo-yo in my, uh, in my storage thing. Okay, so we do have the, uh, Rod of Discord in case I need to get out of a si sticky situation like that. Um, which is nice. So I, I should not actually end up getting, uh, you know, uh, hit by him. Oh, that was not good. That was very dumb of me. That was very, very dumb of me. Why did I do that? I don't know. Luckily, though, uh, we did we did do a lot of damage to him. <laughs> we, we honestly did, like, about the same damage to each other. That was kind of funny. Why are they shooting blue now? What do the blue ones do? Oh my gosh, we gotta take down these probes. Take down the probes. Come on, die. There we go. Nice. The probes will be nice for uh, regen. But yeah, dude, I mean, that, that, that this Palladium Armor, man, I, I feel like that this... Just the regen is just so good. I mean, I've already regenerated like a whole heart in like a few seconds, which is very nice. I mean, obviously that's with buffs, but still. I mean, why would you why would you not use buffs? I don't know. Hopefully we get another adrenaline. I, this fight is a lot easier to dodge than I was expecting it to be. I mean, look at this. Oh, that was good. We managed to dodge that. Let's see if I can get some good hits in it. Oh yeah, look at all that damage, dude. Oh, and then he did a ton of damage to me. Why is it then when I do... No, no, no! How did I blow that fight, dude? How did I blow that fight? Oh my gosh. That was very dumb of me. Dude, this feels like a a pre uh, this feels like a preview as to like what the Devourer of Gods is gonna be like. Oh my gosh. I, I do not want to go into the Devourer of Gods, man. The Devourer of Gods was by far the hardest boss in the last playthrough. I almost just took a dumb hit. Dumb hit. Dumb hit. Okay, why did he just turn purple? What does purple mean? Oh, he's mad. I don't know about what, but he's mad. He's mad. He went devour God's mode. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I need to pay attention to where he is on the map now, apparently. Oh, I almost just hit a probe. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I lost him for a second there. Not good. Why is this run through so much harder? I don't remember him turning purple last time. Maybe, maybe I didn't get him this week? Nah, I had to have. Oh, that was close. That was close. Maybe I can get some adrenaline here. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. Almost got adrenaline. We almost beat the boss, too. We might not even need adrenaline. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. At least I hit the tail and not the head. I would have taken a lot more damage if the head hit me. I have a feeling that at this stage, the head probably does like 300 damage, too. We almost got him, though. We almost got him. Let's get him. Let's go. Let's go. We did it. Look at that. Dude, I, I don't even have a whole, whole episode worth of content yet. Man, let's go, dude. I guess we can make some upgrades now. So, of course, I gotta put down the, uh, the thingy-mabobber. And, uh, let's see what we got here. So, of course, hallowed bars. Um, man, I might as well just, uh, just make the, uh, the thingies. Can you, I thought you could get hallowed ore, too. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, what do I, what do I need here to make this armor? Um, oh, I might, I might not have enough, honestly. So, I'll, I'll be able to make the armor, but then that's probably it. Even though there's, like, still a lot that I need to make. Okay. Valkyrie Ray. Oh, and I need to go get a Mithril Anvil anyways. Okay, well. Whew, Excalibur, man. I definitely need that. You know what? I'm probably going to do another quick cut, and we'll go get some stuff that I need, like an Adamant Forge and a uh, tight and mithril anvil and uh yeah then we'll just uh i'll do another boss fight at night and we'll make all this armor i should have enough to make everything well guys i am back and i should have everything i need to make my upgrades so i also can make an upgrade to the terra spark boots which is nice so let me see here do i have a harpy ring no i don't so i need to craft a harpy ring now I should be able to make the angel treads. Yes. Cool. Nice. So that'll be very good. Now I have a lot more movement speed. Now I need to make the hollowed armor, which will definitely be an upgrade. However, I think I want to make the pickaxe axe first. I think I want to do that. I, this will probably be dumb. Oh, it only takes one soul each. Okay, that's good, at least. So what did I get? Pickaxe axe. Okay, I was expecting... Oh, I mean, I wanted light. But whatever, okay, so let's see here what else I can make here. So so I need to make the Hallowed Armor, of course. However, are there any other melee weapons? Looks like uh, Catastrophe is a melee weapon that I think I can make. Uh, fires Explosive Energy Bolts. I feel like I should make that. Holy cow, I can make this too. Okay, wait, let me look at the wiki really quick. Okay, so I know that I can make an upgrade to the Biome Blade. Oh, oh I can just make that right now. Well, I'll be darned. I might as well do that, right? Oh, do I need to start it? No. I'm, I'm just going to make this. Heck, yeah. Biome Blade, definitely one of the best upgrades I can have right now. Looks like um, uh, this has an upgrade, too. What What do I need to make that? Oh, I should be able to make an upgrade. To, dude, I can make an upgrade to literally everything right now. Oh, my gosh, dude. I cannot wait to test these weapons out. Uh, So, get out of my way, merchant. So, let's see here. True... Bloody Edge. Heck yeah. Okay, we got two new weapons now. Um, looks like I need to make that hammer that I was looking at. So, mm, this hammer, you are going to have to go in here. So I can make the next hammer here. Hammer. Yes. Cool. Boom. Alright, nice. We got, we got broken or damaged, but that's okay. So... Next up here, uh, I guess we should just make the armor. I think that the armor is what the wiki is recommending. Oh, maybe Daedalus. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to make Hallowed for now. Um, should be fine. So, yeah. Okay, so Hallowed. Okay. Um, definitely need this. Okay. Definitely need this. Okay. And the helmet. Cool. So, as you guys can tell, clearly we're getting into the stage of Terraria, where things are going to start ramping up quite a bit. So, 
I'm definitely not done here. Oh my gosh, there's the upgrade. Oh, that's the last, that's the last upgrade we can make. Okay. So, I, I, I think the last thing I need to make is the Excalibur. So, let's see here. Excalibur. I don't think I need to use it yet. However, I definitely need to make it because I will need it at some point. But let me see here if there's anything else I can make right now. Let's see here. Dark Light Greatsword. How do I make that? Um, let's see here. Dark Light Greatsword. Okay. Ah, Cryonic, Cryonic Bar. I think I'll save that for next episode along with the Sulfurous Graver because that, that'll be Aquatic Scourge. But we made some really good upgrades right now. So I'm going to do a quick cut while I go reforge these three weapons and we'll see how good they are. All right, so right now we have 96 defense and this does 302 melee damage. So if I swap this out, we go to 112 defense. But our damage goes down quite a bit. However, the set bonus is very good. And honestly, I mean, I don't think it's going to matter too much. So we're going to test out all these weapons. But man, I don't even know like what to put them in for. I definitely need... What did, did I just do? Yes, rot at Discord. We'll just do this. Okay, for now, we'll just do this. These weapons I definitely don't need anymore. Um, for now, at least. So let's see here. First up, we got this godly... PWNA hammer uh, throws a heavy gravity affecting hammer f affected hammer that creates a loud blast of hallowed energy when it hits something. There's a 20% chance for the hammer to home in on a target. Homing hammer summon an additional spectral hammer. So this thing just looks insane. Let's see the damage per second. Uh, damage per second isn't that good. However, I still think it's going to be good. Because of the fact that it's like a ranged. Um, but it doesn't have true melee, true melee damage. So these don't either. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So true biome blade. If you guys don't know what the biome blade does is it like adapts to the biome. So if I hold down left click, it's now been a, a changed the regular, I guess, overworld biome. So now I can go to... The ice biome, um, which actually I don't even know if I have anymore. Um, so we can switch to this mode. And uh, is, do I have any ice biome? I forgot I needed to be on flat ground. So, so yeah, this is one of the ice biomes abilities, which this sword is ridiculously good. Um, I'll show you guys the DPS on it in a minute. But yeah, okay, we have both of them. So there's lots of different attributes we can have. But for now... I'm just going to show you guys the ones that we have. So, this DPS, ooh, that's good. That's good, but I have a feeling that this one's going to be way better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 10,000 DPS. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, and then next up we have the Bloody Edge, which I'm assuming heals me. Chance to heal players. Okay, and is it range? Oh, it is range. Oh, dude, this thing's going to be so good. Oh, my gosh. DPS isn't that high, but it heals you. And it's a range. Oh, dude, these things are so good. Okay, nice. So, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Next episode, we are going to smash through some bosses with these weapons. So, yeah, if you guys want to see, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Um, again, I'd just like to thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, that's all I have for you. So, I will see you guys all in the next video peace yo guys so i now have a merch store i'm gonna keep this nice and short while also showcasing some of the merch in the background so basically i plan to make a lot more videos in the future where i'm giving out more money i want to be the next mr beast okay i'll just say that i know i'm not him yet but i'm working with what i got so if you guys want to support the channel while also looking good while also wanting me to make better videos then definitely go check out the merch store even just feedback is appreciated we got a lot of different clothes we got mint gaming logo stuff we got stickers phone cases mouse pads all different kinds of shirts with my regular logo and then we even have some funnier shirts which are just kind of memes and then also like representing your state in a funny way so yeah go check it out